in a certain form. Because they cook with it. Wisconsin anime. You are not wrong. Because I choose not to drink. I don't say it's a good choice or a bad choice. I think that everybody deserves to do what they want with their body because I don't want to. Uh, that is incorrect. I have had a beer. I just choose not to drink. Okay. Sorry, somebody's talking outside very loudly. It's really loud. I don't classify it as good or bad because I don't think it's appropriate for me to tell somebody a choice that they make with their body is a good decision or a bad decision because it's not my business. Uh, you can, you just don't drink. I don't talk about books on here because that's my job and I don't talk about work when I'm not wearing my badge. Sometimes I do wish that I drank Occasionally, sometimes I wish that I started drinking when I was in college, and then it really doesn't affect me. I, you know, sometimes, the only time it's really frustrating is when people make a big deal out of it. Um, or, like, when... Yeah, basically when people make a big deal out of it. Um, you know, like I go somewhere with my family and they make a big deal out of the fact they're like, oh my God, I brought you one pop because the rest of us all drink alcohol so you can have this one pop, you know? And you're like, they're like, I remembered something non-alcoholic. And you're like, wow, I appreciate that, but literally could have brought my own stuff. It was that large of an inconvenience for you to like do that. You didn't have to, you know, like surprisingly having nothing, something without alcohol in it is somehow the inconvenience. Um, or the, yeah, I don't know why people care so much. Or when I go on a date with somebody for the first time and I'm like, oh, actually I don't drink. And they're like, you drink water, don't you? You know exactly what I fucking meant. You know. You know what I meant. Or when I go somewhere with my friends and they make a big deal out of introducing me. And then they're like, oh my God, this one doesn't drink. And you're like, yep. Okay. So... It's just, it's just weird to me where it's like, okay, that's not my entire personality. You know, that's the only thing. That's the only thing I, I'm like, God damn it. This is really annoying. But, um, that's about it, really. Actually, when I was at my parents on St. Patrick's Day, my mom kept wanting, she kept trying to ask me, she's like, do you want to try this wine? Do you want a glass of this wine? And I kept having to be like, no, thank you. I'm good. No, thank you. I'm good. No, mom. Thanks. I'm good. 
And the only reason she was doing that, I found out after she went upstairs to run to the bathroom, she made my dra- my dad drive all the way to this, um, this brewery to get a limited edition St. Patrick's Day Shamrock wine. And just wanted somebody to drink it with because my dad wouldn't drink it with her. So she was really trying hard to get me to drink it because she wanted somebody to share it with, which was sweet, but I wasn't gonna drink it. Also it was slightly green and I just, you know, I didn't want my mouth stained. Um, a LaCroix. Kendra, you're gonna bark next? You bark at him? Um, the green, it wasn't like green green, it was like a white wine with like a green tint to it. I don't know, my mom was super excited about it. I still don't know if she's drank it yet or not. I was not about to have that. We were doing our normal family tradition of eating corned beef because my mom and my dad had a corned beef competition. That was new. Um, They had a corned beef competition to see who could make it better. Don't tell my dad, but my mom won. Um, And then we watched Boondock Saints. That is what we fucking did on St. Patrick's Day because that's what we do every year pretty much. And then I watched my dad do his little Irish jig in the kitchen, which was not actually an Irish jig. It was just a man dancing in the kitchen. Uh, I would be shocked if my mom knew how to download TikTok onto her phone. So we're good. My dad, on the other hand, he and his boss send each other TikToks, but he does not have the TikTok app and he calls it the TikToks. So I think we're good. My mom can text and can run a Pixis in a hospital like no other. Cannot figure out how to work her iPhone in terms of like apps. Also, she regularly made makes Pinterest into a verb. She will tell my dad, I'm going to bed to Pinterest and then leave. She Pinterests in bed. I accidentally showed my mom Pinterest in about 2010 or whenever the fuck that thing came out. And it has been a problem ever since, so. She Pinterests frequently. We have to be friends on Pinterest now. Thank you.